what's up everybody? It's your girl K. And today I have a very special, important guest. The love of my life, the Mr. Gregory. Mr. Eugene Gregory. How's it going? Now, you probably seen him link under my hubby's channel. So go to his, Eugene D'Angelo Gregory. Uh, channel to sub to all my subscribers check out his stuff. He does some similar stuff that I do except he doesn't sing even though I think he should. Anyway, um I used to <laughs> I used to sing a long time ago. I wish I could have heard you back then. But anyway. Yeah. <laughs> you know what they say. What? I can't change. Oh, you you funny. <laughs> and if I try yeah, that's what they say. But anyway, <laughs> but anyway, this is a very special episode of Hollywood Exposed. Now we all know I did Hollywood Exposed one, Hollywood Exposed two, and Hollywood Exposed part three recently. And now I'm gonna do a Hollywood Exposed response or I would say reaction stuff. Yeah. Reaction, uh, kind of like interview or conversation yeah. with the hubby. It's now, time. It's, it's time, baby. It's time. Don't um. mind the silliness, okay? Anyway, um, basically, I put out there some very juicy topics about some stars. <laughs> Why are you looking at me like that? I ain't, I ain't mean it like that. Ouch. Dirty minds, right, ladies? Anyway, um, no. I talked about Jeanette McCurdy. It's not. All right, go ahead. It's not the time for the room. Well, actually, it kind of is since the hour ain't first week. Yeah. Happy anniversary to us. Um, this isn't really what the video's about, but we met today, March the 16th. Um, six years ago, 2008. So it's, it's our sixth anniversary of being together as a couple. I actually knew that before that. Well, we knew each other before that. Summer of 2007. It was like the right. What was like the third or the fourth week? I believe we start chatting on some low budget, crappy chat line called Mama Raven. In the D.C. area, y'all might know that. I don't know. It's a free voicemail chat line. Kind of like live links. First. Where you leave messages and check messages. and Anyway. Um, you all, oh, you tired, baby. Anyway. It's kind of late. It's after 1 o'clock. But we're going to try to be quick with the video. Anyway. um, Yeah. So we're going to have dinner and stuff later. We celebrate our new anniversary. But I talked about Jeanette McCurdy and the fact that she had these half new Don Ray picks leaked out. Um, some more information about that. She was dating a basketball player, and suddenly after they break up, these pictures are leaked out. Now you know how I feel about the the mind control of these young stars and how they exploit them, and nothing ever gets leaked. It's kind of like they do that to exploit them. So. I'm gonna ask Hubby, how do you feel about Jeanette McCurdy? Now, you used to watch I Call Me with me, and seeing her go from a child star, squeaky clean, and half naked, how did you feel <laughs> seeing her? Wow. Um, coming from a, a man expat part, um, I wanna say that the pictures were pretty much, pretty much freaky, I'm gonna say. and. <laughs> When I first looked at the picture, I'm like, wow, wow, you know, she's blessed. But at the same time, you know, uh, I'm going to say, what's that network? Nickelodeon. Nickelodeon, um, Disney. Mm -hmm. They, um, they exploring in these younger people, you know, with the, um, oh, next thing you know, she'll be twerking like Miley Cyrus. <laughs> she might be twerking right. on Miley Cyrus or with her. Anyway, hey, anyway. She'll be twerking. I mean, I, I wouldn't be surprised if she had a twerking video linked out right now. No. <laughs> and I, I don't believe she linked, linked the pictures out herself. I believe someone behind the mind control when they use to mind, mind control these scumbags out there, you know? Yeah, pretty much. I mean, pretty much, pretty much what you hear in the vlogs and the news. 
pretty much everything speaks for itself, you know. All right. Now, my next topic is his response to Chris Brown being diagnosed with post-traumatic stress disorder and other mental issues that we don't know about. Um, what do you think about them so-called diagnosing him with these uh, these mental issues? Like, does that sound believable <laughs> to you or? Nah. It's a real joke. First thing I'm going to say, and second thing I'm going to say, it's a real joke. And the third thing I'm going to say, it's a real joke. And the fourth and final thing I'm going to say, it's a real joke. They're mind controlled. Everyone is mind controlled, and everyone that's in the music industry is Illuminati mind controlled freaks. Basically, everybody. <laughs> right. Mainly Chris Brown. You know, he was he was a little innocent little boy. Mm -hmm. With this little fresh haircut, tall lean guy dancing around like he's a psychopath, and the um, excuse me, miss video. I like that song by the way. And then all of a sudden he grew and got older. Then you know uh, he started changing. You know he, right. he smacked the crap out of Rihanna. He fight people here in DC. So so who else? I, I, so who else people be fighting? The police knocks. Well, speaking of that. He's just recently, in an update, been arrested again for violating his probation, even though it was reported that he was supposed to go back to rehab and do a couple of more months. Now he's arrested without bail. So the mental health aspect is looking so-called true because now they see he's going out, going off again. Uh, what are they doing to these people for them to go off so bad? Like, people might get angry and fuss and fight, but to the extent he does, it just seems bizarre to me. Anyway, I hope Chris Brown gets to be together. My next topic is the nail polish trend with the men. As I reported, that Snoop Dogg, Dwayne Wade, Ocho Cinco, and Wiz Khalifa got French manicures. Ocho Cinco and no, the way Way actually got his feet done and got a pedicure. So, what do you think about this new feminized men trend with the nails done and the way in skirts and dresses? Do you think that's cool? Like, nah. that ain't something you into? Nah, I'm not into I that. Hope not, I hope not. I'm not into that. that. Any man that would get his fingernails. Foot, eyes, nose, all that stuff painting. It. It's pretty much, pretty much gay. <laughs> if a man wearing a skirt, then he's gay. I don't care if he had leggings on underneath there. Right. I don't care if he had jeans <laughs> on underneath, underneath there, it's gay. You know, I wouldn't Me be surprised. Too. I wouldn't be surprised if they was wearing um little tight see-through um, t-shirts. Like B2K ones. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I don't like no fruity man, and you know, I. And if you come in walking with a skirt, I'm gonna snatch that skirt off and kick you up. The top. They claim, but, but, no. uh, but it's another thing, and they claim, you know, they go hard, they're gangsters, they're real dudes, but, you know, obviously gangsters and real dudes don't get this done, done, and right. get their feet done. <laughs> they that's, nails was looking better than mine. Actually, I need to get my nails that's done. That's taking the feminine, <laughs> the feminine nails, jaxation, too far. Right. So you don't buy into men need to be soft like women message that they putting out there with me. No. Some clear, you know, maybe that clear stuff. They, yeah, they like done. a clear manicure. Yeah, yeah. Quick finger nails. keep it clean and neat. That's fine. But not colors. That's fine. Who's going to see, see that? Who's going to notice that? And Seal had the bright yellow. He was rocking bright yellow nail polish. And what about the boy Johnny Depp, Powers of the Caribbean? He had the blue. If y'all seen the pictures, blue to match with the outfit. He went all out with his. Um, Was you surprised by him? With his nah. as freaky as he is, I, I wouldn't be surprised he had a boyfriend, okay? Um, all right. <laughs> The next thing I wanted to talk about was ASAP Fur. He just put out a new video for his song Hood Pope. Oh my god. Anyway, um, excuse us. Hood Pope. And the video was very disturbing. 
Um, it actually, he's playing the role of a pope, baptizing young people. Um, they had some kind of Jesus shirt on in the video. And then at the end of the video, um, he levitates. Like he's Jesus ascending into heaven. But the funny thing about it is they had like an image of the cross, like a picture of a cross, but it had an L attached with it. And if you don't know about Illuminati symbolism or um, the Luciferian uh, religion, L means left hand path, which means Luciferian path or backwards path as in satanic worship. So he's using Christian imagery, but he's really talking about a satanic way of life while portraying Jesus. How, how do you feel about that? Him levitating and sitting here acting like he baptizing these boys. And it was very weird and very like creepy, this video. Well, <laughs> yeah, well he's trying to get to Connie West and Jay-Z level. Um, you know, um, Connie West is um, Yeezus. You know, he call, he calls himself Yeezus. I mean, basically, basically saying he's Jesus, basically. Mm -hmm. And ASAP Ferg and ASAP Rocky are in the same crew, along with some other guys. So, I feel like um, they also are following into that same kind of, you know, satanic. ASAP Rocky more so, but ASAP Ferg is, you think he's going in the Kanye's level? Uh, yeah, um, him, um, ASAP, the whole entire crew, you know, pretty much they're popping and banging off each other, obviously, because, because uh, I, re I really don't see a lot of um, females around them. I don't know if, I don't know if you guys are fans of them, of theirs, you really don't see a lot of females in the videos when the crew members are together. So right. I, I find it kind of weird, you know. You know, people had their mobs, clicks, and groups. You know, they got a lot of women around them, mm -hmm. constantly in videos, and they really don't. So I, I find it pretty much strange. I, I, I pretty much. It's a brother. I feel. Like. Yeah. I pretty much believe they're boyfriends, and <laughs> they banging each other off, and, and um, at, at the hotel rooms and giving each other roses. Mm. And saying happy Valentine's Day to you, man. I love you so much. Man, oh, it's so good. Oh, please it's don't. So good. <laughs> it's like Drake be saying. In your video, you yeah, did about no Drake. Y'all need to check out his oh, channel. Man. He did a gay Illuminati <laughs> Drake sold out and went gay for fame. That's a funny video. Yeah. And some other link. ones he did. Yeah, we're going to link. I'm going to link you, his channel. put the video link down there. Right. But, um, yeah, so the satanic imagery is very popular, ASAP Ferg, and there's a young girl rapper who's really good, but uh, her name's Angel Hayes, and also, what? Well, I'm gonna go ahead and go. All right, anyway, um, just uh, check out his channel, and I'm, I, I had fun doing this little, you know, Reaction video or response. Baby, right? this is don't, my baby. don't mess up my dress. <laughs> uh, response video to so Hollywood cute. Exposed. Um, I'm, we probably do some more couples videos and stuff. We're going to go and chill for our anniversary. Yeah, and I guess I'm going to bed. Right. <laughs> and go to bed. And you guys take care and remember peace and love. Bye.